Welcome back to Super Five. It's feature time. Feature time for the Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series. And this should be a good one. The drivers all hunting for a Burgers Smokehouse Turkey. Ah, man. Delectable eating from Burgers Smokehouse. Some Ozark country cooking. And these drivers are going to be grabbing uh, grabbing it and uh, enjoying it. They'll be to their house, to their doorstep, and time for them to cook for their family for Thanksgiving. $65 value on that Burger Smokehouse. Thanks to Burger Smokehouse, simple family tradition since 1927 on the web at smokehouse.com. Here's your feature lineup for the 18th annual turkey shoot here at Memphis Motorsports Park on the pole from Liverpool, New York, driving to number three. Sponsored by BMK Logistics, it's Brad Keezer. Keezer on the pole, outside row number one. Driving the sim ability number 13 from Oswego, New York. It is Rapid Ryan Clunan. Row number two looks like this on the inside. Looking for his first burger smokehouse turkey. From Crestline, Ohio, in number 41. Keith, put one on your Powell. Powell in the 41. Next door to him from North Syracuse, New York, in that beautiful blue number 12, sponsored by Tforecast.com. It's Anthony Corsaniti. Corsaniti in the number 12. Inside row number three. Inside row number three. Inside row number three, the driver that won the turkey trot hails from Unit, Connecticut. He is sponsored by PMS Wolfpack. That's the Mod Squad, Denver, good friends of ours, keeping the NASCAR heat game going. He's sponsored by. He's sponsored by the TMS Wolfpack, as we said, uh, the mod squad dot info. Friends of ours, keep the NASCAR heat game going live. We were just running NASCAR heat last week, as a matter of fact, the Veterans Day special. Uh, next door to him in sixth starting position from Elyria, Ohio, sponsored by the Midwest Super Modified Series and Atkins Glass. This should be interesting. Had trouble in the turkey trot. Didn't start it. He's starting from six tonight because he made the turkey trot. Uh, we're talking about Zach Sears. This guy is uh, known as Ricochet Sears. The Zach attack. Keep your eyes on the 22. Try to make it up to the front along with Dave O. Row number four. On the inside. It's Bob Gay. We're in the number 25. PG Racing Photos, the sponsor. And next door to him in the number seven, Nelson Hot Rodriguez. Inside row number five, driving the number 14, it's Bobby Haydock out of Brook Park, Ohio. Brook Park, Ohio. And an auto sales, his sponsor. And next door to him, had a good run at his heat race from Wyoming, Michigan. It's the number 10 of Gary Waldron. Waldron, sponsored by Kenowa Auto Supply. Inside row number six, oh boy, a couple of old guys here at row number six. Keep your eyes on this row. This should be fun. Number 42 of Carl Bonsai Becker and the number zero eight of Dandy Danny Ray. Rounded out the field here tonight. out the field here tonight in row number seven the zero seven that bright green machine a couple of green cars starting nose and tail out there but it's a great green bright green number seven of zero seven of uh chef bivens bivens out of fort bill south carolina joining us here at memphis and rounding out the field from chisago city minnesota tricky dicky Schuler in the gooby beer shoe racing machine 14 cars strong 40 laps on tap the Supers, Turkey Shoot at Memphis Motorsports Park, getting ready to roll here. Fast joint, keep your eyes on row number three. That's going to be exciting. Keys are going to bring him down for the green. Green flag flies. We're racing at Memphis. Look at this, shuffling, jiving. 
and Clunin gets the jump. Good run by Clunin into the lead on lap number one. Clunin, Keezer, oh, one, two, three, Powell, Corsiniti, Gangwer. Single file down the back stretch. Here comes O working on Keezer low out of turn number four. O looking to take over second. Clunin leading. Dave O takes the lead already here on lap number two. These are around Clunin now for second place as Sears now starts to move back towards the front after dropping a couple of positions. Sears in the 22 working his way up back into sixth. Further back in the pack, Rodriguez, Waldron, Hayduck running together. Here comes Sears underneath course. He needs turn number four. That's a battle for the top five, and Sears wins that one. Field spread out around the big three-quarter mile here at Memphis Motorsports Park, and drivers now burn some laps off. Getting a feel for what the car has. Track tends to tighten up here in the evening. Hoping they don't lose any stagger for sure. Keith Powell now under attack by the 22 of Zach Sears. As Sears is really working to reel him in. Back about three car lengths now. Clunin running by himself in third. Leader coming up on lap traffic already. First one will be Dick Schuler. To go a lap down. And yellow on the racetrack. Just as Sears was going to work on Powell. The caution comes out. And it's Jeff Bibbins on the front shoot. Low in the infield. And. A couple of drivers spared by the yellow going down a lap early in the turkey shoot 40. Jeff Bevins with a slow, lazy slide there down the infield here at Memphis. Saves it. And is able to keep on rolling. Sometimes that doesn't end up quite so well. <laughs> it's, uh, but fortunately, a lot of area down there for Grumpy to not get in trouble. So Bivens will cycle to the back. So, Schuler and Bivens going pit side right now. This will be interesting to see what happens on this restart with Sears and Powell. That was really shaping up to be a pretty good battle there for fourth position. Sears had dropped back right at the start, then had worked his way around Gangler and Corsaniti. And 
And it looks like Schuler and Bivens rolling. White flags out. We'll be going green next time by the stripe. All admins. Oh, Keezer Clunin. One, two, three. Powell. Sears. Corsidini. Four, five, six. Here we go. Green flag flies. And wow, look at that start as Sears goes to the bottom in turn one, Corsonini included looking racy on Keezer. Battles all over the track on this restart. Sears has cleared Powell easily now and starts to pull away. Keezer was happy to see that yellow as now he's pretty close to your leader, Dave O. Gang, we're going to work on Corsonini in turn one. Powell not giving up on Sears. He stays within three car lengths for fourth. Yellow on the racetrack. Yellow on the racetrack again. And it looks like it could be Danny Ray around. We'll keep an eye on that. Becker possibly involved as well. Second caution of the night. Kid marks in turn one. We're going to take a look at that courtesy of Breeze Graphics and Hairbank Studios. Oh, and it looks like the 08 into the 42 on the bottom. Down in turn number one, Becker comes up in the short end of the stick. And Carl Becker and Danny Ray going to the back. of veterans there and started side by side but we saw veterans with maybe that's not appropriate the older guys in their 70s racing <laughs> having a good time though both very good friends enjoy spending time at the real super modified races with each other and uh sorry to see them go around they'll be behind bivens and Bueller now White flag's back out. Now, the tires have cycled a couple of times here. White flag's out. Oh, staved off that challenge by Keezer at that last restart. But let's see what happens this time around. Let's see what Zach Sears has for Rapid Ryan Clunin. Gang, where Corsonini had really started to pick up the battle for sixth position. Here we go. Green flag's back out. Boy, the field really pulls away. Top four takes off and goes. And oh, boy, Sears to the bottom underneath Clunin in turn one. He gets the job done early. Moves into the top three.
Corsonini going to work on Powell. There's a battle on the racetrack in turn number four. Good on restarts. Anthony Corsini, the quiet store. Working on Steady Eddie. Keith Powell. Keith put one on you, Powell. Always waits till later in the race to make his move, but I don't think he can do that now as he's got heavy pressure from Anthony Corsiniti. Coming up on the halfway point here at the Supers Turkey shoot. Now Powell is pulled away from Corsonini, and Corsonini falls back into the clutches of Gangler. That's the battle on the racetrack, and Yellow comes out again. Every time the 25 goes after the 12, the caution comes out. Oh, big crash on the front, front stretch. Jeff Bivens in trouble out of turn number four. Looks like Dick Schuler also involved. A big one out of turn number four. Here at the high speed three quarter mile of Memphis Motorsports Park, Schuler up on his side. Bivens with no nose wing. And Schuler just got a little bit loose. Bivens went to the inside and swaps in, trying to miss. Kinda, kinda two different incidents there as Schuler got loose and Bivens going to try to get the nose wing replaced. Wow, that was a big one. Jeff Bivens had been in the pits earlier. Bivens, a truck driver by trade for U.S. Foods, and glad to have him back in action here. Ran the Super's anniversary night show at the Twisted Metal Raceway on dirt. That was a good one. Won by Dave O. Dave O looking for his fourth win in a row here tonight. Leading the points once again. Keezer, man, they've just, those two have been blasting the field here at Supers for quite some time. Uh, they've picked up the battle, but what about Zach Sears getting the, uh, getting up into third around Ryan Clunan. We'll see if Clunan has anything now on the restart. What does Powell have? Can Powell get around Clunan? That's seems like it takes a couple of laps to get the 41 up to speed where the 12 is really good on the restarts. And then as the later on into the restart, uh, as the race keeps going, it, it gets a little worse for him. So green flags out. for second place. Here comes Clunan. What a move by Sears underneath Keezer on that restart. And couldn't make it stick, but he let him know he was there. 
Clunan thought about it as well. Clunan now goes after Sears in turn number one. Good battle on the racetrack for the top, well, we'd say the top three, but they're not really the top three as Dave O is checked out again. And now Sears is pulled away from Clunan. Wow. Really the top five have really settled in and stretched out. It's see what happens here with this battle between Corsaniti Gangwer and Rodriguez. Gangwer to the inside of Corsaniti in turn one. Corsaniti fight back on the outside. Trying to get into the back, get up closer to the back end of Dave O. As Gangler, of course, a needy battle for sixth on the racetrack. Teaser's there. He's got a shot. He's about a car length away from O. Still plenty of laps left for the driver of the BMK Logistics number three. We'll see what he can do. Right there, right on the rear nerve bar of Dave O. Oh boy, we've got a race on our hands. Keezer, your 2019 turkey shoot winner. Going after the two-time and defending turkey shoot winner, Dave O. Further back of the pack, Rodriguez sets in eighth, Waldron in ninth, Hayduck in tenth. Of course, Aniti not letting Gangwer get away. Powell running all by himself, Clunan running all by himself in fourth. Yellow on the racetrack once again, our fourth of the night. And we'll scan around this big three quarter mile to see exactly what's going on. Not sure who was involved in that one. Oh, Carl Bonsai Becker, a big one. And missing the front end of the Docker Titanium Rosary has spun out. He got going again and uh, not sure exactly what happened right in front of the leaders as a matter of fact oh he, he got loose and spun out and uh, hit the wall oh boy that was something there Becker lost the tire Right in front of the leaders, Becker gets around. And debris on the back stretch there. Still a tire on the track. So Becker out of this one. Becker and Schuler out. Biven still hanging strong after making the pit stop. Green flag flies as uh, Powell and Gang were, of course, the Not quite sure how to get around the 07 of Bivens. They can't pass before the start finish line, so those guys were kind of stacked up. Up front, though, they're stacked up as well. Easer, oh, going at it. Less than 10 to go.
Gang, we're to the inside of Pal in turn one. Teaser to the outside of O. Teaser into the lead. Side by side. Brad Keezer will be scored with leading a lap. The battle wages as well between Gangwer, Powell, and Corsonini on the racetrack. Boy, these guys are livening it up here with less than 10 to go. Keezer in the lead. Dave will go to the inside of Brad Keezer. Davo back into the lead. Big spread from fourth back to fifth on the racetrack, almost half a, well, a full straightaway at least, half a track almost. of gang where Corsonini ready to pounce if they make a mistake. The leaders are still going at it up front with three to go. Pound to the inside of gang work. Down in turn number four. They resume their battle. Corsonini right there ready to pounce. That's the battle on the racetrack. Coming down to the white flag lap. Powell around Gangwer. Baker flag comes out for Dave O. Gangwer to the outside, right down to the line. We'll let the scorers figure that one out. What a battle at the end with Corsonini, Powell, and Gangwer, but Dave O picks up his third straight turkey shoot here at Memphis Motorsports Park. A great battle down to the wire for fifth position. The game scores Keith Powell in fifth, Gangwer in sixth, Corsonini trouble at the end. Not sure what happened to him. Rodriguez comes home in seventh. Wow, Dave O, what a run there. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to talk to Dave O and find out exactly how stressful that was trying to get back around Brad Geezer and hold off Zach Sears. You're enjoying live Super Modified Sim Racing, the finest on the Supers Broadcasting Network. Welcome back to Supers Live. Uh, this guy has uh, just been having a lot of good luck here lately. I, I don't think it's just good luck. I think he's one hell of a race car driver, a sim racer, and uh, always knows how to get the job done. Can drive a car the uh, looser than anybody I know. Um, got it done tonight, but he had a little bit of pressure. Let's talk to your winner of the Supers 18th Annual Turkey Shoot here at Memphis Motorsports Park. Speedy man, Dave. Oh, Dave, congratulations. Great run for you. Three in a row. You're the first driver in Supers history to win three of them back to back. You're now tied with Supers all time champion, Ray Sand Jr., for the most turkey shoot wins at three. It's your, well, I think your fourth win in a row now this season as we go into the break. How's it feel to put her in victory lane once again at Memphis and win that Burger Smokehouse turkey after a challenge by your uh, good friend, Brad Keezer? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to need all those calories from that turkey uh, to recover after that heck of a battle we had there. Um, definitely, the I think, the toughest one, uh, from what I recall. He was hounding me. Uh, I know we ran a little bit different year. He was a little bit lower, so 
he definitely had those runs in the draft and uh once we got rolling but kind of struggled a bit on the restarts and at at the end i i uh i was really just pushing hard trying to just stay just far enough ahead where when he got that monster run with the gear he wouldn't be able to do anything with it and uh bobbled there at the end i don't know five to go six to go off two pretty bad uh he got to my outside um kind of stayed side by side through three and four and almost got together or made a little bit of contact coming out of four, uh, just, you know, hard racing and got really loose. Thankfully saved it. And uh, he didn't close the door down there in one. So I'd clean air and be able to kind of roll back through and get back to him down the back and, and use that momentum through three and four. And then uh, with the, the little bit more gear I had, I could accelerate faster with draft. I was able to make the move down into one and thankfully hold him off. But yeah, he was hounding me all race. Um, I knew it was going to be difficult passing him, and once passing him, there was no chance I could get away. He was just you know, way too fast. How much did the cautions hurt you tonight, Dave? Uh, I don't think they really did, other than just being frightening, because it seemed like about half of them we were right next to. Uh, it really helped the car cool down and you know, be able to you know, cool the tires down and make a, another hard charge at it for another, you know, kind of sprint, so to say. Um, just trying to, you know, fill the gap on Brad and, and get him on those restarts where he kind of struggled a little bit. But with how aggressive he is on the starts, you know, I don't think it hurt him too bad. Besides that initial one. There was also some pretty close action out there. Carl Becker losing control. Uh, I don't know if you were anywhere near that, but it certainly seemed to be up front by the, the leaders. Did you Did you catch a piece of that? I did not. I heard it. I think that was around uh, third or fourth place back there. Um, but it definitely sounded close, but thankfully we stayed, stayed clear of that. Oh, congratulations, Dave. You're clear, and uh, it's time to clear some space uh, on your Thanksgiving table for another Burger Smokehouse turkey. Congrats. It was just a great race, man. Fantastic running up front. Good battles throughout the pack. Another fine turkey shoot here, and you come home the winner of that Burger Smokehouse turkey. Yep, thank you, and great race to, to Brad. It was a, a fun battle, and looking forward to that Burger Smokehouse Turkey. Thanks to them, and uh, thanks to all the super sponsors for all they do. Beady Bad Dave, oh, winner of the Super's 18th Annual Turkey Shoot here at Memphis Motorsports Park, a track he's won at multiple times, not just in Super's competition, but in uh, ARL and NHRL competition, as well as I'm sure in iRacing. Just a fantastic driver. And uh, picking up another win on the season, padding his points lead. Brad Keys are trying to keep him honest, though, finishing second. And a good run by Zach Sears to come home in third place after starting six, missing the turkey trot dash, uh, unable to start. Uh, nice run by the youngster out of Elyria, Ohio. Rounding out the rest of the field now uh, in for fifth place, Keith Powell after a tremendous battle at the end with uh, the 25 of Bob Gaywer. Gaywer comes home at six. Nelson Rodriguez up to seventh. Gary Waldron in eighth place. Bob Hayda comes home in ninth. Danny Ray finishes the race in 10th. And uh, Anthony Corsini being penalized for passing before the start finish line when they had a little bit of a low, a slow restart there by lap car of Jeff Bivens. And he goes back to 11th. Jeff Bivens making uh, his first R Factor appearance in a couple of years, doing a good job. Uh, a couple of incidents out there, but uh, bringing the car home. The last car on the track in 12th. Carl Becker out of the race after an accident and Dick Schuler out as well in 14th position after uh, getting up on his side and losing some wheels. Time of the race, 22 minutes, 38 seconds. And uh, it was a, fi a fast one for, for all intents and purposes with four cautions out there on this big track trying to get everybody lined up. We hope that you enjoyed the show. We sure do want to invite you back for our next race on November 29th. It'll be the wing site up twin 25s at the famed Salem Speedway in Southern Sa uh, Indiana and in Salem, Indiana, right down on the uh, Ohio river. And that is also part of the Indiana super mod challenge, a season long regional tour through the Hoosier state. There will be a double header wing and non wing racing at Salem Speedway. First time this race has been contested on any track other than Bristol Motor Speedway. It is a high banked, treacherous half mile, and you won't want to miss it. We'll be broadcasting live starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the 29th of November. Don't miss it. Your ticket to the 
great super modified sim racing that Supers has that supplies right here on the Supers Broadcasting Network. We want to say thank you to all of our sponsors as we get ready to take a, uh, a few days off, about a week off, so that all of our members can hang out with their families for Thanksgiving. And most of all, tonight, thanks to Burger Smokehouse, simple family tradition since 1927, on the web at smokehouse.com, supplying our Smokehouse Turkey, a fine smoked turkey going to Dave O tonight, courtesy of Burger Smokehouse. Thanks also to First to Finish Race Service, BreezeGraphics.com, Hairbag Studios, Icings on Top, Specialty Cakes for all occasions, proud sponsor of the number 41 of Keith Powell, who uh, finished in fifth tonight, also sponsor of the Supers Rookie of the Year Award and the Supers Triple Crown of Super Modified Sim Racing. Grid-Finder.com, find your place on the grid. Wags Custom and Cool Awards make a Dave O look cool in Victory Lane here tonight. BMK Logistics getting you your Amazon products in speedy delivery style. We'll see how things work out for Black Friday coming up after Thanksgiving. We know that Brad uh, Keezer, uh, owner of BMK Logistics, is pulling his hair out uh, as we speak, trying to make sure all those trucks to get down the road. But we know that uh, if you live in upstate New York, you're going to get those Amazon products, courtesy of BMK Logistics and their speedy delivery style. We want to thank all of you as well for joining us here today on the Supers Broadcasting Network and um, appreciate each and every one of you. We're very thankful for all of our fans, all of our members, and all of our followers here on Twitch. We hope that you enjoy your time with your families and friends and uh, remember those that are less fortunate than than uh, you may be. If you need help, reach out and get it. Uh, and uh, hopefully that uh, you'll be able to enjoy some some good eats on Thanksgiving, just like Dave will here from Burger Smokehouse. I'm Bob Gangwer. Thanks to Breeze Graphics and Hairbank Studios. Kevin Timmons, our video producer, turning the dials and spinning the dials and pulling his hair out in Baldwinville, New York, at our headquarters for our broadcast. Appreciate him. Uh, very thankful for everything that Kevin does for us here at Supers. I'm Bob Gangwer, reminding all of you that uh, through your trials and tribulations, always remember to be thankful for what you have. Spend more time counting your blessings, less time adding up your troubles, and always keep it wing side up and wheels to the ground. Someone you love I've been around a long time In and in and out of love But if you're gonna do it I say do it with someone you love